Estoy dando fe. So I can expect all of us to turn on the video, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Great. Yukta, Sampar, Pranav, turn on your video. Pranav, I don't want that animated one. I just want your face to come there. Sampath, okay, I can see now Sampath. So, enjoying at home or going to school? Ma'am, no, I'm just uh, behind. I have, I have one more exam. Okay, one more exam is left. So, in spite of uh, the exam, you are attending the classes? Yes, ma'am. That's great. That's really great. Which exam is left now? Ma'am, Hindi. Oh, Hindi. So, do you know how to talk in Hindi, right? Yes, so ask me my name. What is my name? Ask me in Hindi. Aapka naam kya hai, ma okay, great. So your Hindi is too good, I guess. So my name is Manisha Garwal. Hai. Yes, Yukta, do you know how to speak in Hindi? Yes, ma'am. So it means everybody knows here. I think how to you talk in Hindi. Okay, okay. Pranav? The original Pranav, not the animated yes, one. So, original Pranav, can I see? Through the video? Hmm, so he is the original Pranav, right? How are you, Pranav? Doing good? Yes, ma'am. So, why we are gathered here today? For what reason, no, actually? Okay, so do you like that? Yes, ma'am. Why do you like bio, actually? There is a particular reason for liking bio? Yes, ma'am. Plants and animals. Okay, so we study about the plants and animals. That's what the reason you like it, okay? Sampath, what about you? Why do you like the subject? Well, I'm understanding different things about uh, plants and life. Okay, about, it's about the plants and the life. That's the reason, okay, Yukta? Is there any, any other reason apart from the plants and the life? Um, like I feel it a bit interesting than the other subjects like in chemistry you have to remember all this uh, like the elements <laughs> thing but I feel biology is much more easy and interesting okay that that's really actually a genuine part of it so bio as compared to the other chemistry and the physics it is I can't say it is easier because sometimes you know what happens those children who are good in math and physics they find it difficult to understand bio because it is almost a theory concept and all, right? And those who don't like bio, the maths and the physics much, they will be loving it because they love to listen, listen and all those things are there, right? But when you come to the grade 10, there's a lot of maths involved in the bio also. So we will have the maths in bio <clears throat> in grade 10, but in the 9, we don't have maths, so don't worry. So uh, I think still I need to wait for the others because only three have joined. Hashid is in the waiting room. He is joining. Okay. So till then you can tell me about your favorite subject out of everything. Whatever subjects you have in your class, which is your favorite subject? Sampath. Well, math, physics, and chemistry. Oh my God. No, bio in the list. <laughs> okay. Yukta. My math and science whole. Okay. Math and science whole. Okay. Pranav. Science, Science. Okay. Fine. So, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'll, I'll make you all to start loving bio, actually. So, how to love bio? I'll, I'll, I'll teach you, actually. So, I am not going to teach you much. I am not going to talk much also. So, I think, Harshit, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Turn on a video, Harshit. Okay, ma'am. Great. So uh, what I'm going to do is, whatever the classes we are going to have, X, Y, Z, whatever the numbers are there. So during those classes, rather than talking much, we are going to focus on the videos. Fine, the videos will be there, the PPTs will be there, and the experiments also we will be doing in the class. Some of the experiments you also will be doing. Okay. 
so i just want you also to take the initiative and do the experiments in the class so it's not like only in the school you should go and do the experiments or with the teacher you should do it start doing it in the online class also so it will be helping you in your future also correct so as you are growing up as you are going to your higher classes these experimental things will be helping you a lot fine so my class will be little different as compared maybe to your normal school or maybe the other classes so i hope you are aware of my name my name is manisha agarwal am i audible yes sir yeah ma'am i am audible or not yes ma'am you are okay i think some network problem on my side i guess maybe because of the rain uh, okay never mind so i hope you are aware who i am what i am going to teach you and uh, those all things you are aware of so i'll not be going very deep into that uh, we'll be starting with some interesting topics have you any one of you have started with the grade 9 uh, science in your school have you started with the grade 9 no no okay fine okay uh, if i talk about the grade 8 have you ever seen the microscope in the school yes ma'am okay fine so pranav is saying yes yukta is saying yes sampath has said yes harshit you have seen the microscope no no okay no so uh, when i talk about the microscope i think you are aware that for seeing the micro organism or to see very very minute object we will be using that correct so that is what actually the microscope plays a very very important role so um, i cannot see what is there in my hand right i have the hands why we are cleaning those hands we are cleaning so as to you know remove the microbes we have to remove the dirt whatever we have so if this hand without washing now if i wash them under the microscope what i will be able to see ma'am like microorganism dust particles correct so so many dust particles will be there so many microorganisms will be there so that is the reason always our parents will be forcing us or they will be teaching us from the you know childhood that we should always wash our hands before eating and same goes for the you know spoon also whatever the plates you use because when you keep the plates in the open area what happens those microscope which are present uh, those microorganisms which are present around us they will be coming and feeding on them right and unknowingly what do we do we take them into our body and slowly and gradually those microbes they will start creating some or the other problem and sometimes they create so much of problem that the food poisoning also occurs you start vomiting you start feeling some of the problems or some of the uh, you know troubles happening in digesting the food so that is why when you are eating so make sure that uh, like you wash your utensils again washing does not mean that you have to use the soap again you can just clean it with the water and then use it fine so uh, i'll be uh, first of all showing you a video where we are going to talk about the microscope so microscope basically it is used to see the microorganism uh, ajitendra good evening so could you please bring your camera little down so that i can see your face am i audible 